All right, so we finally get to have a look at this little masterpiece. This is the scale engine that they built for the tent scale Capo 8x8. Now, this is not a gas-powered engine. This is only for looks. But what you're looking at is a scaled-down version of a V8 uh, turbo diesel. Now, the beautiful thing about this, look at this little fan on the front. This is not just for looks. This is also for function. And you must be a little bit confused, but you'll see a drive shaft uh, uh, coupling right here, an output drive. Have a look underneath this. For function. Inside, you see that there's these slots here. I, I know the lighting's off, but there is a capo motor in there. They sent this part to me somewhat assembled to save me a little time while I'm doing the build series because there's a gearing system in here with the pinion and the motor right on the inside. Now, these slots are for servos, my friends. So instead of me chatting, I want to install some servos for you guys. Now I'm going to use these two Savox servos. Uh, I do not have the same number. You'll notice this is a 31 and a 30. They both hold a different torque rating, but these are waterproof servos. Uh, I'm going to be using, uh, if I would have uh, ordered properly, <laughs> I would have had two of the same, but instead I have two different ones. So I have another one on the way, but I know you guys are excited to see these uh, uh, this whole build series keep going. So I'm going to slap these in for now for the steering. Now, I don't think Savox actually has mini servos, so I went with a Traxxas servo. Check out this little fella. It's like the size of my thumbnail almost. This is, wow, uh, 2065. I've got a plastic uh, protector on the front there, that's why you can't see it. 2065 micro servo, mini servo, which one is it? Uh, you'll see that it actually fits right inside here and it's gonna be mounting uh, straight to the inside like that. Uh, of the box. I believe this is for the remote locking differentials, but my friends, uh, for those who have been following this build, uh, you know that I have no instruction book, only a uh, instruction video, which we will roll right now, and then we will install these. All right, so we can see the mounting uh, part here for the fan. As that gets into place with uh, three little screws, we introduce the three servos. These are the two front servos for the steering, I believe, at this time. Uh, once you put in the mounting brackets using eight screws, you can assemble them onto the front part of the engine assembly, followed by the middle section. Now I'm gonna do it a little out of order than that. I'm just gonna actually put it in the front and middle section that's already in place. You'll see those three screws go in to actually hold everything together and introducing the mini servo. Mini servo, pay attention to the horn, actually goes opposite of how I just showed it in the video prior to this, but now I see it, now I know. Now this part was actually done for me uh, to save me a little bit of time in the build for you guys. This whole shaft and pinion section and drive line with the bearings has already been pre-assembled in mine. At this time, I don't believe it comes pre-assembled in anybody else's kit. Uh, in go the bearings, out goes uh, the drive line for the actual um, the output drive for the drive shaft this will be on the exterior of it on go the bearings and of course the c-clips to hold them in place and there we introduce the uh, output drive area where the drive shaft will be uh, hooking up to I believe on goes the little turbo uh, which is not functioning it's only for scale looks my friend and assemble with the uh, whole thing and these screws uh, on go the frame mounting bolts uh, this is how it's going to attach to the frame of the capo and in go uh, well the screws we won't be using those yet 
these are the wires these are only for scale of course and what they're showing right now is uh, the exhaust manifold also doesn't work it's all for looks my friends the valve covers go in uh, with a few screws these are aluminum everything you're looking at is metal and uh, you screw it in be sure when you're putting on the turbo and everything else not to over tighten these screws they will strip out uh, on goes the top you'll see it does not have a medic face because all capos come with the standard v8 on the top uh, where you can actually do a motor um, uh, fan all right so time to bust out the actual driver and start undoing some of these micro screws now normally I would have gone through and used thread lock throughout this whole assembly uh, but I have done that in the rest of the vehicle. I don't think it's actually necessary up here. Not a lot of, of movement. Uh, plus these super micro screws, they are aluminum and they do strip out uh, if you're not careful or if you over tighten them or if they're too tight and you're trying to undo them but they won't go. Uh, as you could see right there. So I'll figure that out. I'll start on the other side. Also, notice what I'm doing. If you guys are following along uh, in the future, and maybe some of you actually have this, uh, you're trying to figure out how to disassemble this whole unit. Remember, take off the two uh, uh, sides. You're going to have to undo the exhaust manifold. You can check this out here. Uh, take off the top off of the turbo and keep going. You want to undo the front and the rear of these exhaust manifolds. None of this is functional, people. This is all for scale realism and ultimate scale look. But with this being a compartment holding the motor and all the servos acting like a transmission, this is pretty darn neat for a scale project. Now I'll keep twisting on the screws here. That's the big thing with this project. If you want to do something uber awesome uh, and spend a lot of time doing mat meticulous work this is definitely a kit for you you'll see they have a cutout area for a fan or possibly some cooling on the motor that i have in there uh, all the cooling fins of course came with mine again will not come with the normal kit version from what i understand uh, I don't work for Capo at all. I'm just showing off a cool kit here. So check it out, broken apart. Uh, you can see here I'm actually going to be using uh, the Savox servos, as mentioned. I've sped up the footage here so I didn't kill you with boredom in a, in a, in a build video. Some people say too much talking, more building, but, you know, I could play music here. It's all personal choice. A little bit of thread lock, even though I said I wasn't going to use it. When I put the thing back together, because of the shake of the motor, uh, you know, I want to make sure I get as much done as possible with proper thread lock in place. Uh, you can see here that I'm actually putting on a, a little quick connect for the motor and ESC. I'm going to use a Tekken FXR so it can handle a 3S LiPo on this brushed motor that's there. A quick, quick connect. Uh, and all the leads, I think, for the electronics go through this front area. No instructions. Uh, just kind of having to make it up as I go here. And I'll re-solder those connections if I need longer leads coming out the front like that but not too bad see how everything's kind of coming together now it's time to reassemble it so on go the uh, these are frame clips this is how it's actually going to attach to the frame of the capo uh, there's these long mounting bolts that hold the whole engine assembly together well it's just a few of them add it on the other side it has two bolts, the long black one that holds everything together and, of course, the little short silver one uh, that's just actually helps secure that mounting bracket in place. Put on the non-functioning yet incredibly cool looking uh, turbo uh, <laughs> piping here. Sorry, sorry mechanics, I know I got that wrong, but uh, trying to do a voiceover for you guys on the fly. Uh, so you can see uh, all the hoses going in. On the top, here's where I could put in a fan if I find it's too hot. Uh, and the Capo V8 whole top assembly goes on with these screws. Be very careful, these can strip out again. Uh, it's the heads on them that make them so soft, so make sure to use the proper Allen keys, the proper fittings. So there we go, in place, 
And uh, really what we're looking at here uh, is the finished product as I turn it around and put on the small turbo. Now the turbo, again, is just for looks. I think it looks pretty darn cool. Screwed into place, not too bad. And my friends, there we go. This is the look at the whole engine or motor assembly. Uh, this will be mounted in the frame next. Don't you like that cooling fan? As always, thanks for checking out this build. Uh, if you guys want to make sure to see some more, please subscribe. Thank you for supporting and see you next time.